demonstration ladies and gentlemen of unlimited world-class level freestyle aerobatics and this is an airplane that just Again, ladies and gentlemen Ed's sister with the XA 41 unlimited freestyle here we go accelerating up to about 180 miles an hour now Going to the far end of the runway, the rate of roll as well as the climb performance over 3,500 feet a minute, 315 horsepower, five cylinder, horizontally opposed air to engine. You can see it has got a tremendous roll rate up to 450 degrees a second. 200 miles an hour. And even at 50 miles an hour, it's got a roll rate of 180 degrees a second serious performance he can do really quite complex figures and keep climbing at the same time hesitation rolls there still climbing there's a negative push uh, the blood going into the top of his head rolling in the vertical and that is going into a knife edge spin take the wrong roll out of it you have to be very careful with the knife edge spins they can start winding up hard pull there that was about a plus six pull all the way around the big loop you can see clearly there the undercarriage spring steel very very strong it'll take a landing rate of around 2,000 feet a minute that's a hell of a thump into the ground a rouard it's a longchevac the aircraft rotating processionally around the aircraft propeller and using engine torque as well they're all initiated with the rudder and then simply stall the wings and look at that roll rate in the vertical and there it is, that uh, necktie we call it, it's a kind of uh, mulleroid. Flying off. Incredible amount of power to be able to do that manoeuvre, come almost to a stop and then fly away inverted. The aircraft itself at the cutting edge of technology is entirely made of composites, carbon fibre. and fly sideways as well as that phenomenal roll race. Uh, even the instrument panel as you lift the canopy uh, will move forwards and out of your way. The fuel tank is completely separate from where the pilot sits. Another safety feature, the only aircraft of its kind in the world to be crash tested with dummies. Avalanche and aileron roll through 1970s they were called Lomchevacs which is named after a check the back in cocktail so you have a few of those do some of this flying and you'll feel about the same he's going up for a torque roll the aircraft comes to a complete stop rolling to the left he's now going to start rolling backwards through his own smoke oh it's nice he's holding it that's a good one that's a half and a full oh it's a good torque roll he's throttled back he decided to bottle out of it I think <laughs> rolling backwards is a bit of a detention getter wow Look at that roll rate. You can see the spades underneath the wing. They lighten the controls. The control forces are very, very light in this aircraft. Again, that lovely cat launcher back. You lie pretty prone in the aircraft. That means you can take a lot more G. 
bit like we were explaining, but the girls wing walking where they're standing up and they're under G, that's much, much harder than if you're lying flat, or flatter anyway. Again, what's happening, the reason that the aircraft tumbles, if you apply yaw with the rudder, that force is then precessed through 90 degrees in the direction of rotation around the engine. And look at that, to be able to do a flat turn through 360 degrees and maintain altitude. Wonderful. That's literally turning, to be no aileron, just using the rudder. They drop it back. There's the helicopter climbing vertically, almost at a standstill. Hanging on the prop, big three-bladed MT prop. And yawing into the vertical. on the front, developing all that power, there you go, you just love those neckties, a little ruage. He's been flying ever since he was a boy, he, uh, his father was in the RAF flying uh, lightnings and phantoms, and Ed did his first loop, apparently strapped to his mother's chest when he was just six months old. I'd like to know what aircraft he was in, but anyway, there we are. <laughs> Uh, very nice. Oh, he said, yes! <laughs> the Zurichowski cartwheel. He did it without smoke, so he missed it slightly there. So basically that's doing a loop sideways in the vertical. Just loves these gyroscopic things, but they are fundamentally uh, the essence these days of freestyle unlimited aerobatics. How you put these gyroscopic maneuvers together, uh, how you sift them into a sequence, as we call it, uh, left and right, the A axis, and four and half the B axis. Incredibly manoeuvrable, so he should, I think, come back the other way to give us a chance a little bit more slowly uh, to give him away. That's Ed's sister with the Extreme XA4S back. It is the cutting edge of all aerobatic aircraft in the world. This is the numero uno, and we have it here for you. As ever, the fast and the slow and the old and the new. Wings and wheels, thanks very much. Because last time lovely Ed sister. Marvellous, thank you. Very good. Please, without crashing, I promise never to fly anything as stupid as this again. And I have to tell you, I grew to love the turf. It is a little toe jam, a thing of joy and beauty. But it's got no penetration, very little inertia. It's